Deserts are nothing new in Europe, and Spain is no exception. The Spanish have been searching for ways to transform these empty spaces into valuable something as drylands encroach on their nation. Spain has turned its deserts into a vast network of irrigated fields by combining engineering and contemporary agricultural technology. Let's find out Spain just shocked American scientists with this. Spain is home to the Tabernas Desert, known as mainland Europe's only desert, situated between the Sierra de los Filibres to the north and the Sierra de Alamilla to the south-southeast. It is isolated from the humid winds of the Mediterranean Sea, in an area with little rainfall known as Levante. Shockingly scientific research suggests that Spain is set to become completely desertified in the next 80 years. Right now, 31.5% of Spain is already affected by desertification and 18% is at high risk of becoming irreversibly desert. This is due to the increase in temperatures, droughts, and less precipitation has made southern Europe vulnerable to problems such as lower food production, soil infertility, decreases in the land's natural resilience, and reduced water quality, as the European Court of Auditors ECA, has pointed out in its report combating desertification in the EU. Viewed in terms of land mass, Spain is one of the largest countries in Western Europe, and it ranks second in terms of its elevation, after Switzerland. Most of the territory experiences a dry summer climate, Mediterranean or semi-arid, with scarce rainfall in the summer and high potential evaporation, as well as a total annual rainfall ranging from 400 to 600 millimeters. Longer droughts also occur. Although average minimum winter temperatures are often above zero degrees Celsius in a large part of the agricultural land, frosts are not uncommon in the interior of the country during the winter. 20.6 million of Spain's 50.5 million hectares of land, or about 40%, is suitable for cultivation. The soil is generally of poor quality, and about 10% of the land can be considered excellent. The roughness of the terrain has been an obstacle to agricultural mechanization and to other technological improvements. Furthermore, years of neglect have created a serious land erosion problem, most notably in the dry plains of Castilla-La Mancha. The Iberian Peninsula was once covered in ancient oak forests, and over the last centuries was completely deforested for timber use and overgrazing livestock. Currently, 16 million hectares of land are used for intensive industrial agriculture, which is rapidly eroding the soil further. However, Spain has been making some remarkable restoration developments, turning large areas suffering from desertification into fertile land. This transformation is a major accomplishment, considering Spain's semi-arid regions only receive 11 inches of rainfall per year. A rapid increase in temperature has major consequences for desertification. When the temperatures increase, just like people sweat more, plants transpire more, so the water evaporates from soil and vegetation. These conditions weaken the plants, which makes them more vulnerable to plagues, said Patricio Garcifeos, head of the Center for Desertification Research, CIDE, in Valencia pointing to the Axinella plague that has been responsible for the destruction of thousands of trees in southeastern Spain in recent years. Even if vegetation doesn't get hit with plagues, it gets drier and more susceptible to fires. This increases the frequency and intensity of forest fires. Then, after fires, more opportunistic, drier plants can move into the area because the climatic conditions are harsher than normal. It's a vicious circle, he told Anadolu Agency. Drought is an obvious issue, but heavy rains can also cause floods and soil erosion that speed up the process. According to research published in 2016 in the journal Science, unless temperature increases are held within 1.5 C above industrial levels, the Mediterranean basin is likely to undergo dramatic changes, including expanding deserts and a loss of traditional vegetation, which hasn't been seen in the last 10,000 years. Vegetables, fruits, and cereals are the principal crops, accounting for about three-fourths of Spain's agricultural production, in terms of value, with cereals the principal crops. Barley and wheat, the major crops in Spain, predominate on the plains of Castile-Leon, Castile-La Mancha, and Andalusia, while rice is grown in coastal Valencia and southern Catalonia. Corn, grown in the north, is a major fodder product. 
Other crops include cotton, tobacco, sugar beets, olives, a large portion of which are used for oil, and legumes, beans, lentils, and chickpeas. Fruit growing is also significant, with citrus fruits, especially oranges, grown in the regions of Valencia and Murcia, being of the greatest importance. Other fruit crops include apples, apricots, bananas, pears, peaches, and plums. Spain also produces vegetables, especially tomatoes, onions, and potatoes, and nuts, almonds, because Spain is one of the world's largest producers of wine, grape growing is of considerable importance. With about 5,000 miles 8, kilometers, of coastline, Spain has long had an important fishing industry, which relies on fishing grounds off its coast and as far away as the Pacific and Indian Oceans. The main fishing ports are in the northwest, especially Vigo and A Coruña. The activities of the commercial fishing fleet led to conflicts between Spain and a number of other countries, especially Morocco and Canada. On a number of occasions, Spanish fishermen have been arrested for fishing illegally in these countries' waters. Spain's total catch declined during the 1980s and 90s, but the fishing sector still accounted for about 1% of GDP, and fish remains an important component of the Spanish diet. Climate change isn't the only factor creating conditions of desertification, however. It's also a matter of changing farming practices, explains Elvara Marin, coordinator for Alvalau, an association of farmers and producers advocating and practicing regenerative agriculture in the area. With global demand for almonds rising, there's been a massive expansion in production. According to the most recent industry survey of businesses by the National Statistical Institute, INE, the Spanish agri-food industry is the country's leading industrial sector, employing 353.965 people on 31 December 2014, and with net product sales of 93,396 billion euros in 2014, representing 20.5% 20 of the industry as a whole. The number of people working in the Spanish food sector in 2014 amounted to 2% of the 17,569,100 people at work in total, according to the Labor Force Survey. In 2015, the value of crop production amounted to 27,552 billion euros, accounting for 60.6% .6 of all agricultural output. Spain produces over 80 different products, making use of a wide variety of growing calendars and production systems. The sand dunes of coastal Spain have been declining since the 1970s and accelerated in recent decades due to over-tourism. Local wildlife has suffered, and sea turtles and birds have declined with many species of plants endangered or disappearing altogether. In 2003, the government started a restoration of the Dunes project near Barcelona Airport, and by 2019 it has expanded its initiative countrywide by using a very simple and cost-effective technique. A report on the assessment of the restoration of the dunes was published by Antoni Califat last and has shown considerable improvement in recent years. This project in Spain will have a massive impact and could even change the local climate, with more water on the soil and more evapotranspiration from the trees, enthuses Tim Christopherson, head of the Freshwater, Land, and Climate Branch at UN Environment, based in Kenya. Because of its similarities to deserts in the southwestern United States, northern Mexico, northern Africa, and Arabia, Tabernas has been a popular area to shoot many films since the 1950s. The Spaghetti Westerns were shot at the three main studios, Texas Hollywood, Mini Hollywood, and Western Leon. The sixth season of the TV series Game of Thrones was shot in locations from Andalusia to Catalonia, including the desert, which is the Dothraki Sea, a gigantic step in Essos, the largest continent. Spain may also use Israeli practices like drip irrigation, which saves 6% of water and boosts agricultural production and constructing aqueducts and sinking deep boreholes to acquire water. Spain may also manage water availability professionally by charging for continuous freshwater delivery. It will help them create more water infrastructure and promote the notion of water conservation in public. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you liked this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.